A retired Church of England priest and a former choir master from Sussex have been found guilty of a string of child sex abuse offences that date back more than 25 years. A judge in Hove today said that Father Wilkie Denford and Mark Mitten had committed a grave breach of trust and a gross breach of trust. Well, tonight on the steps of the court, one of the men issued an apology to his victims after prosecutors said Father Denford used the respectability of his position to groom and abuse two boys. Our Home Affairs correspondent Colin Campbell reports. Are you ashamed at all? Father Wilkie Denford. He was a trusted, so. respected Church of England vicar, Mr. now a convicted child abuser who faces prison. The judge said what you did was a gross breach of trust. Is there anything that you'd like to say to your two victims? While there were no words from the vicar, choirmaster and organist Mark Mitten, also found guilty of grooming and abusing a choir boy, made this apology. Are you ashamed, Mr Mitten? I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, have you got anything that you'd like to say to the, your victim? I'm sorry for all I did to him. You accept what you did was wrong now? Yes, I do. But in court you denied everything? Yes. The pair targeted the boys as they worked here at St John the Evangelist Church in Burgess Hill in the late 80s and early 1990s. I think it should be noted first that all three people targeted are leading very successful lives in their chosen careers, but that's not to diminish the obvious impact it had on them physically and emotionally. Father Wilkie Denford indecently assaulted his victims at his former home in Shoreham, but it's a case that raises questions about safeguarding. In 1981, Mark Mitten was convicted of abusing a 12-year-old boy. Despite the conviction, he went on to become choir master at St John's in Burgess Hill. He continued as an organist at St Michael's in Lewis until 2010, after revealing details of his conviction. Well, again, we find wholesale failings in child protection measures that allows a convicted sex offender to continue working in an environment with children choir boys and as an organist within a church. Guilty of a string of sexual offences against children dating back 25 years, Father Wilkie Denford and Mark Mitten have been warned they may face significant sentences. That was Colin Campbell reporting. He joins us uh, live from Hove now. And um, Colin, the jury also found uh, the men not guilty on other charges. That's right, Father Wilkie Denford was accused of molesting one of the choir boys on the back seat of Mark Mitten's Jaguar car after the pair had allegedly taken two boys to a restaurant in Cuckfield. Again in the late 80s, early 1990s, well, the jury found the vicar not guilty of that offence. They also found uh, Mark, Mark Mitten not guilty of aiding and abetting in that offence. Both men have been released on bail. They must return here to this court to be sentenced in May. Judge Paul Tain told the pair that they had committed a grave breach of trust and a gross breach of trust. Thanks Colin.